So we're in the backyard of the client's home. This little deck here is really a landing, but they wanted to make it more than just a plain old landing for the entry door in the backyard that they'll be using regularly to get out to a patio. They wanted to make it the focus. So they designed it with a wraparound set of stairs so that they can go down in any direction. And if they're sitting out in the yard looking back at the house, it looks very pleasing to the eye. So the homeowners selected the Trex Transcends Lineage Rainier color for the surface of the decking. And we also used the Trex fascia board to finish off the front of our riser boards. So on this deck, instead of attaching a ledger board to the sheathing, in which case we would have had to remove the siding and the trim boards here. And because there's a rain screen in addition to what you see in the siding, we would have had to bury that ledger deep in the wall. So instead of doing that, we simplified it by putting in an extra pair of footings and an extra beam and made this a freestanding deck. So this deck is not connected to the house. It can move independently, so to speak. You'll notice that there's no handrail or guardrail around the deck. Handrails on decks or any set of stairs for that matter are only required when you have four or more risers. Here we have one, two, three rises. Therefore, we don't need any handrails. And in terms of guardrails, we don't need one on two fronts. Number one is the distance from the top of the deck surface to the surrounding grade is less than 30 inches, in which case we don't need a guardrail. But in addition to that, since we did the wraparound stairs, no need for a guardrail. So one of the design elements that you don't see here, but that we anticipated, was a paver patio in the backyard. That was our establishing grade, along with the top of the threshold into the house. Those gave us our height dimensions and all of our stair layout is designed around that. You probably can see that the riser height here to the first step and then to the second step down are much shorter than the one from the crushed stone up to the top of the first. That's on purpose. It's on purpose because he left the lowest riser board full height and we only tack screwed it so it can be removed so the pavers can come in, scribe to the top of the pavers, for a perfect finished look.